What's up world, I'm Mr. Vaca, and today we're gonna be talking all about Fig Jam. Now, if you're thinking Fig Jam, a delicious spread that you put on toast that's made of figs, no, I'm sorry, you are sadly mistaken. Turn around now because a Fig Jam is an online whiteboarding collaboration miracle tool that is used whether as a teacher, I could use it in a kindergarten classroom or a 12th grade physics classroom. And it's used today in corporations like Twitch, Meta, even Google for Education uses it. And I wanna show you in today's video, again, whether you're a kindergarten teacher all the way through 12th grade, all the different ways that you can incorporate a fig jam into your lessons to take it to the next level. So without further ado, let's jump into our fig jam. So fig jam is actually created by a company called Figma. And you're just gonna go log into Figma and you're going to connect with your Google account. And you'll see right here, I've actually created a fig jam for this script, for this video that you're actually watching right now and I have basically the intro here on the whiteboard I talk about ways to describe fig jam and then I break it into these different sections K through 2 3 through 5 6 through 8 9 through 12 which I'm gonna show you all quickly with a little bit more explanation but this is a fig jam right here I have created this cool little diagram this example of what I would create on a whiteboard, this flow chart, but again, it's like a Google Doc. You are going to collaborate live with your entire team, just like what you're used to doing in a Google Classroom, but this is just the bare bones of what you can do. Let's dive into an educator perspective and look at what you can do, whether you're a kindergarten all the way through a 12th grade teacher. So I used to be a first grade teacher and would use Google Slides or my whiteboard and actually a combination of both of my projector to do my presentations whether it was a phonics presentation or doing math, science, even social studies, I would use slides for my lesson. And if I needed to share with a sub, I would just share my slide deck. Now I'm going to share my Fig Jam. I'm using Fig Jam for my presentation to show the flow of what I'm trying to do, how I'm thinking, and it's so easy to include timers, countdowns, custom emotes, voting, polls, stamps. You can do these like cool little things with your cursor and do like high fives. The student engagement is through the roof when doing this and the technology, the students are just gonna think what you're doing is magic. And it's basically just taking what you're used to doing, whether it's on a whiteboard or a Google slide, and you're just putting it to the next level, making it truly interactive. You can put links directly in here, memes, videos, and customize your Fig Jam presentation any way that you want, just like if you were drawing on a whiteboard. But now you have all these technology tips that help take it to the next level. Not only can you do text boxes like this and change the colors and font, but you can also have this drawing tool that allows you, if you have a tablet mode, to basically draw freehand anything that you'd want on a whiteboard, but here in the Fig Jam. Put yourself in a third, fourth, and fifth grade teacher perspective. I could be using Fig Jam for all those same reasons. Plus, I'm now going to have students create their own Fig Jams and work in groups and even do their projects or a final presentation using a Fig Jam as not only like their evidence of brainstorming and thought creation, but also just like a final presentation like you would be doing if you are a kindergarten, first or second grade teacher. You could have a student, instead of writing a formal book report, have a presentation using Fig Jam of all the different characters. And what I really like making it super easy is that when you have these different thought bubbles, there's all these tools like this little arrow right here that you can click and draw different lines and connect different things. And it makes it very easy to show how you are thinking and show that thought process. So having the students start to show their thought process, having them create the Fig Jams, this is the perfect age to introduce that skill. For our middle school teachers, 6th, 7th, and 8th grade, I am showing everything again that we've just covered, but I'm also introducing this as a digital art concept and showing how you could use Fig Jam and how it really is used in today's real world to create storyboards, scripts, to help brainstorm final papers, to create a website, how to do a science project. I think of it as using Discord with a group of friends that's working on a project. Even for our esports team, I have them create a fig jam so that they can do the game plan of how they're going to select who's playing, when, their thought process, the reason why they're going to do that. They're all going to show me in a fig jam and they all have their own 
inputs that they're putting in there. They're using this, again, for digital art, whether it's actually drawing with the tablet mode or using the images and all the different artistic tools in Fig Jam to create a presentation and, and use that aspect moving forward. Now for our ninth through 12th grade teachers, I tell them again, everything that we just covered, but that the focus should be on communication and how important communication is no matter what field that they go in, that this tool, Fig Jam, allows you to be a true team and give students the tools to feel comfortable and really want to participate. So again, hopefully by this point, they know that they have to be doing this and that Fig Jam gives them the best tools at their disposal to prepare for the real world. I just threw a ton at you and I'm sure you're overwhelmed, so don't worry. I'm going to be creating a series all about Fig Jam and do some deep dives into all the lesson ideas that I just covered so you can see firsthand how this is going to be a game changer in the classroom. So if you wanna see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button, notification bell so that you don't miss any episodes coming out in the near future. But most importantly, thank you for watching and getting this far. You're a true fan. Don't forget to work hard, play hard, and I'll see you next time.